In other news here tonight, Watertown picks up name drops in national and international media as we get closer to Monday with the total solar eclipse. 7 News reporter Thomas Caffarella tell us what's, tells us what's being said and what local officials are thinking about the publicity. Getting closer to Monday's eclipse means honing in on the forecast. While it's early, it still looks favorable. It's just it's great to see that we're getting that national recognition as the best place to view the eclipse. USA Today, a media organization with nearly 4 million followers on Instagram, published an article that quotes a meteorologist from Texas. When giving his opinion on the best place to view the eclipse, he said, quote, If I'm picking a place right now, it's probably like Watertown, New York. Having Watertown mentioned in a national publication like USA Today will certainly, I think, encourage more people who have not decided where they're going to view the eclipse to come to the city, and that is exciting. USA Today isn't the only major media outlet to highlight the city of Watertown. Canadian national broadcaster CBC also highlights some of the city's plans. Tourism officials say this type of exposure is great for the region. Having major media publications talk about our destination in a positive light is something that we can't buy in terms of advertising. It's a different kind of marketing for us. Fram was a part of the CBC article and was asked about how booked up local hotels are. And while rooms are hard to come by, Fram says it's another type of tourist that could do a spur of the moment trip to our region. Day trippers. And so when that what if scenario of it being sunny in northern New York and cloudy elsewhere uh, comes to fruition, that's where we really start to wonder what could that number balloon up to. While everybody knows Monday's forecast can change, officials are hoping for favorable conditions to welcome thousands to the Watertown Thousand Islands region. Thomas Caffarella, 7 News.